Hello and welcome back to my sewing corner. If you're new here, you're very much welcome. Thank you for stopping by and please don't forget to join this amazing community because learning is simplified here, okay? You can make your own dresses just by watching my tutorials, okay? And also, if you don't get anything, I'm always there to answer your questions. So do well to subscribe, okay? That way you're supporting me and it's free. It's at no cost, okay? Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draft this mermaid six pieces skirt and as you can see the front skirt is shorter than the long skirt and that's because we're going to be putting a tail the simplest way and the easiest way you can draft your six pieces skirt at home with tail you can decide not to have tail so as we go on the tutorial you will know how to make those alterations for yourself or your client okay so if you're interested and you really want to learn and get the best of this do not skip any parts because i'm going to be sharing tips and tricks as we go on in the video okay let's just go straight without wasting time all right guys so for this skirt you're going to need the following measurements the skirt length okay now i'm going to need two different skirt lengths the one for the front and the one for the back and the reason is because the skirt that i'm going to be drafting today is going to have tail as you can see the back of the skirt okay it's going to have tail so you need to take your normal skirt length and then add the allowance you want for the tail okay so you can use from 5 to 15 inches depending on how flowy you want it to be okay then you need your waist to knee length so when you take that you subtract one or two inches depending on your height okay depending on how tall you you are or your client okay so if you are not too tall you can just subtract one inch but for a tall person or a medium high person you can subtract 1.5 or 2 inches okay you need your waist circumference you need your hip circumference okay i need a circumference for the base of your skirt and we're going to get that by doing some calculations okay okay so it's called a six piece skirt because you have one two three four five six i called this two i counted it as one because by the time you insert your zipper you're not going to count it as two separate pieces you can decide to put your zipper at the side if you don't want it to interfere with your measurement but it's not it's nothing to worry about it even adds to the beauty so you can see that this skirt is a mermaid skirt i believe we all know that if you've not seen my video on how to draft cuts and also saw a mermaid skirt check it out i explained in details all of this so you can check it out and you know see but this is just like a this is a six, six pieces skirt okay um that one was a two pieces skirt for the mermaid um skirt that we did okay so this is like six pieces so we're going to be twisting and you know making some alterations to that one that's the basic okay of a mermaid skirt so we're just going to be altering that to get this okay now you're going to need the widest part of your body measurement your lower body measurement okay it's possible it's possible it's your waist if your waist is the widest body part you're going to need your waist to make your calculations but if your hips is the widest body part then you go ahead and use your hips but in this case the hip circumference is the widest part and see it's 20 inches actually i'm using this small measurement so that the camera can my phone can capture it well okay so that we can all get the best of it if i start to use a bigger or an adult measurement you will not see it properly okay so but you're still going to get the basics from the way i'm drafting it okay from the way i'll draft it in this tutorial okay so now you're going to divide this you know, 20 inches for the overall waist circumference so for the front you're going to have what 10 inches for the back you're going to have what 10 inches take your waist circumference if that's the widest part of your body measurement and divide it into the, into two like this now the front is going to have what three panels one two three you divide by three again this one too we have what three panels i have 3.3 3.3 so that means each panel is meant to carry was 3.3 inches so that we can have the overall hip circumference okay the way i like to draft my six pieces skirt i always like the center to look smaller okay than the sides so if you don't want it that way just go ahead and share it evenly but if you want the center piece this one i hope we can see this one to be smaller then you reduce this measurements you know this panel is now let me get my pencil three points oh, three point three three points three three points three that is the actual one if you were to share it evenly okay so now if you want to make reduction you can reduce it by one inch 
two inches maximum it depends on your size okay so you can reduce the center on by one inch or two inches depending on your size but for this one i'm just going to reduce by one inch so if you subtract one inch from 3.3 you're going to have what 2.33 so definitely this center is now it's going to give us what 2.33 okay so now the one inch that you subtracted you're going to give these guys back because you don't have shortage so you're going to share it so one divided by two that is what half half on both sides okay this one will have what plus 0 0.5 okay so once we have what plus 0 0.5 and that will give you 3.8 this one will give you a 3.8 eight am i right so like 3.83 okay that is how we are going to cut it now we've shared it the same thing for the back as well but just that the back this one will have zip allowance as you can see so it, the amount the allowance you want to give for your zip allowance you add it to it so let's say you're going to add two let me write this one so you want to have what 3.83 so onto 3.83 inches please take note inches okay so now this if you are giving two inches for this zip allowance now you're going to have was 2.33 plus two inches so for the back zip allowance now 2.2 inches plus the 2.33 that's what 4.33 so we're going to share that 4.3 between these two guys okay these two pieces okay that's it so now that you've determined what you want for this you done the actual measurements okay you're going to now add your allowance you're going to need half inch to join this side to this side piece you're going to need half inch here so to join into this side piece okay just for the center piece so that is what half half that will give you one inch so you're going to add what one inch to it so you have 3.33 again for this one you're going to need half inch here you're going to need half inch here to join the side seam side piece to the center piece and you're going to need half inch here to join this side to the back skirt and this is the front and then you're going to join to the back to make your complete skirt so you're going to need half inch to join this to the back and also you know you can give your allowance okay but for now we're just going to concentrate on that so by the time we start shaping you give your is allowance okay so that means in total you're going to need one inch here as well so plus one inch you also have what 4.83 the same thing for this side as well we're going to multiply this measurement by three that's 9.99 which is approximately 10 inches okay so for the end line you're going to cut out 10 inches okay but for the from the waist to the knee length is 3.3 three inches okay so with that being said we understand we now understand how to take our calculation the same thing here you take for this side and um, center back okay now for the center back your skirt length you're going to, like i said you're going to add your allowance for the tail okay so when you're cutting it you're going to you're not going to cut you're not going to shape while you're cutting you're going to shape it when you're done cutting and also sewing together okay so that means by the time you're cutting your skirt length so for this back skirt now i'm going to cut out you know, the skirt length for this project is 15 inches so i'm going to cut out what like 20 inches okay so that i can have five inches for the allowance so the point i'm trying to make is that you will not shape it now while cutting is until you're done sewing all the panels together so all of the panel length for the back will, will carry your tail allowance okay so all of your panels for the back will carry your tail allowance so by the time you are done joining then you take you take your normal skirt length Okay, by the time you fold everything together, you take your normal skirt length and then you shape it. Okay, so when you get there, you see, but just to make, to make, to clarify that before we go on. Okay, another thing I just take note of is that if you're going to insert a zipper, okay, then you're going to take cognizance of your waist circumference by the time you are shaping the side panels. Okay, so because that way, you know, you want to be firm. But if you're going to be using an elastic band, I'll suggest okay that you use your waist second your hip circumference at the upper part so that way you can have extra allowance for your elastic band okay so that that means that if you're using an elastic band you're not going to shape it you're not going to shape your side panels okay so when we get there i would talk more about it so now to cut your center piece you're going to use the widest measurement so for the upper part we have 3.3 
and for the lower part we have 10 inches obviously 10 inches is the wide is the biggest figure so and you're going to be cutting on fold you can decide not to do that but just to have all sides equal you, you can choose to cut on fold so you're going to divide your measurement since you're cutting on fold so you divide this by two that is what five inches so you fold your fabric okay with that measurement so i think i have about five inches here now this is the top of my pattern paper okay so i'm going to mark out half inch allowance here okay so that half inch you can either use to join your band or use it to turn your the, the rough edges okay if it's your lining okay so either way you still need the half inch except you're cutting your you're adding your band allowance to your skirt that's if you, are, you want to put an elastic band or even if you want to insert a zipper but if you decide to cut your band together with your skirt okay that's if you have enough fabric then you mark out first thing you mark out your band allowance before you start taking your skirt length okay that is let's say you want to use two inches for your band allowance or three inches you first make measure of three inches so you don't need to mark out any half inch here then from this three inches you take your skirt length your waist to eat like that okay so but in this case i'm just going to mark out half inch from this upper part you're going to take your 3.3 so you're going to also divide this one by into two since you're cutting on fold so 3.33 divided by two is 1.7 approximately okay so 1.665 so approximately 1.7 so what you do is to mark that 1.7 so you know this is 1.75 so i'm going to take this one between 1.5 and 1.75 okay so from this my half inch i'm going to mark my vertical measurements and i mean my waist to hips waist to knee length and i already have it here so the waist to hips is five inches and the waist to knee length is what eight inches so you mark it you measure it out so i'm going to measure the skirt length as well so my skirt length is 15 inches okay so please note that we're going to also shape the front because you don't want it to just be straight you're going to give it a bit of curve so but we're not going to shape each panels we're going to shape it once we are done sewing okay so we're going to give that allowance of one inch so plus the hemming allowance of also one inch that is what two inches in total so one inch for shaping and then one inch for the hemming allowance so that is what two inches okay so you can choose to just draw horizontal lines across those points so that you can take your horizontal measurements on those lines okay okay so you're going to repeat the same measurements here up to the knee length okay so remember we are drafting the center piece and your measurement is going to be straight for both sides okay it's when you're drafting the side piece that you you know you shape it so your measurements will be it will straight from the top of your skirt to your knee length okay so i'm going to take the same measurement i took And then you connect it in a straight line so now i'm going to connect this to this extreme hand here so once you've connected it that way you come here and then you make this place curved because you don't want it to be sharp so i'm going to cut the center piece now for us to see all right so this is what i have okay this is what i have for the center piece exactly so now we're going to draft the side piece okay when you're cutting pieces you know by the time you cut out that first part you're going to have this part that is wider okay so you place the full part of your pieces also on that part so that way you can manage your fabric okay you can see now that for this side piece you're going to need this side of the center front okay you can see so that is the side okay for the upper part here you know we have 4.83 yeah when we're doing the calculation 4.83 but here we have it's 3.3 Three. Now that you have 3.3 here, you're going to need what? 4.83 minus 3.3. So you're going to need to add extra 1.5 inches to the side of this one. Okay? So I'm going to do that. So you're going to add the 1.5 inches from the top to the base of the skirt. So obviously, the M of this side seam will be more than the, um, the hem of the center seam. Okay? Also mark out your vertical measurements. Okay? So... Let me just roll out this one so I will do my starting line. 
then half inch for the allowance okay so so let me mark out the vertical measurement so i have five inches for the waist to hips then eight inches for the waist to knee okay so that i will know where to start my shaping so i'm going to connect this um 1.5 okay let me just connect it up to this knee length then from that knee length you connect it to the base of your skirt okay connect it to the base of your skirt all right so let's take our normal waist circumference okay so remember that when we're making this calculation we divided using the hip circumference okay so now your waist circumference you need your waist circumference here if you are using if you're going to be putting a zipper on your skirt so i'm going to assume that i'm going to be putting a zipper on this so i'm going to need my waist circumference for the shaping but if you're not putting a zipper if you want to use elastic band please just work with your hips circumference all right so now waist circumference for this dress is 18 inches so 18 inches now for the front and back that means you have nine inches for the front and nine inches for the back as well this center piece now you know by the time we cut we want to sew we're going to sew out half inch on this side and also half inch on this side okay so we're going to be left with 2.33 okay so let's say 2.3 inches okay so that 2.3 inches you're going to subtract it from your waist circumference from this nine inches okay so now the nine this nine inches which is for the front for the waist so two, nine point nine minus two point three three six point seven so that means you're going to share the six point seven for this side and for this side all right okay because this one already has three two point three for itself so whatever is left you're going to share it for this side and for this side so right now i'm going to share so six point seven divided by two is what three point three five okay so i'll come here then you remember you're going to add your allowance and everything so you're going to need one inch um, half inch allowance on this side no by the time we trace out this one this side for the side skirts okay because we're using the center piece the center piece already has half inch allowance okay so we're just going to trace it but for this side you're going to add the half inch to this one we just did okay so 3.3 five plus half inch that's 3.85 so you come to your waist circumference here by the time you trace out the side let me trace it out so that i can remove the center front it doesn't confuse us okay so that is what we need the center front for. Okay. Let me just extend this line. All right. We need 3.85 for the waist second front. Okay. So I'm going to leave out half inch here so that I don't come for the half inch. So you're going to place your tape like this. So 3.85. 85 that is after the one before four inches okay after three three quarter you're going to place it like this and mark out where that is okay all right so now this is the hip line this is the hip line okay which is five inches for this measurement you're going to leave the measurements you have there because you know we divided the old panel using the if second friend so you don't have to alter this one so i'll just connect my hip, my waist to hips okay all right so then you come to your knee length here then you subtract one inch or 1.5 inches from what you have here on your knee length okay 
So this is the hip line. Yeah, I should have even drawn a horizontal line across it so that we'll get it. So whatever I have here, 4.7. If I subtract one in, that means I'll have 3.7. Okay. So you connect it as well. All right, so from this knee length here, you're going to from, you're going to connect it to the base of your skirt, okay? All right. So this will be going out, okay? Okay. So guys that's it so we're going to cut two for this side you know because we need this side and this side so if you're cutting on your fabric make sure you place right side on right side okay so let me cut this out for us to see here you go you can see what we have so we already have three panels for the front the side same the side panel the center panel and also the other side panel okay so let's go to the back. Like I said for the back, all you need to do is to cut out a longer piece for your back panel, okay? And that's because of the tail. Everything else I have here is the same thing. So what you're going to do, I'm going to be using these front pieces to cut the back so that you can see how to make the alterations, okay? So when you're folding your fabric, make sure you had allowance for your zipper. This is my front center piece. You can see I have an extra allowance here. Okay, that's for the tail. So what you're going to do now for the back is, instead of stopping your shape in here, your hemline, you're going to connect from here to the base of your skirt here, okay? So just make sure you mark this point. So when you're tracing, all you need to do is just to trace from your knee length to the top of your skirt for the center front, okay? I'm going to show you how to do this for the side as well. Okay, so then you can remove the, the center front and then you connect it. Okay. Okay, so connect your zip allowance as well. Let's just cut this so that we can cut the side of the skirt. When you open it up, okay, you open the zipper allowance up. Let me label this thing so I don't. So this is the center back, this is the zip allowance, center back, center front. You're going to use your um, the side piece for the front as well. Then you get your pattern paper or your fabric, so you open it up on it like this. I'm just going to trace this side, mark this point, okay? I'm going to connect it to the extreme end of the skirt here. Then you trace out the side seam. So make sure your right side is facing right side and trace on the wrong side, okay? All right, so the same thing here, I'm just going to mark the knee length and trace out the side. Okay, so all I need is to just know where this end. So all you need to know is to know where this end, okay? And where this one starts, measure out the, the base of this one. So here we have about 11 quarter, so 11 three quarter, you come here and also take it so that you can have equal measurements, okay? So once you're done, you connect this knee length to this point and this one to this point. You can cut the side seam. So I'm going to be cutting two of this. So all her pieces are ready and I'm going to be showing you so this is my center back so these are the two pieces for the center back because of the zipper allowance and here i have my side seam for the center for the back skirt okay all right so that's it for the back and you can see that the back is longer than the front so we're going to be making the adjustment now you can see so, so and here i have my front pieces okay so to make the adjustments, I'm just going to use my staple pin to attach this together so that we can actually make the alterations, okay? Once I'm done stapling it together, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, now that I've joined the sides of all of the panels together, so this is for the back and this is the one for the front, okay? 
so now we're going to shape the length so that we can you know add the tail so let's start with the one for the back okay so you fold it like this you can see this is my center the center of my back skirt you can see that the, sh the, the tail is longer at the center okay so you're going to be taking your actual skirt length plus your allowance for aiming here from the top of the skirt to this underside same okay so from that measurement you're going to connect it back to your center here okay so the skirt length for this project is 15 inches so plus one inch allowance that's 16 inches remember half inch for the joint allowance at the top of your skirt so that's 16.5 all right, so you're going to measure it carefully like this. You tilt your tip pro so you can get the accurate measurement. So 16.5, here you go. So you're going to connect that 16.5 to the tail of your skirt here, okay? So make sure it's curved so that you can have that round tail, okay? So that's it. You can see then you cut it out so make sure both sides here are equal i'm gonna start cutting from this side so i can align it So now you can see that we have that tail here. Can you see the way the M line of the skirt is? Okay. So and that is what we have here as well. You can see how round it is. So for the front as well, we don't want it to just be straight. We're going to give it a bit of cover. Remember, we had one inch allowance to that. So I'm going to fold this as well. Now I'm going to measure 16.5 also from the top to the base so from that point i'm going to curve it to the center okay same way i did for the back okay so let me cut it but it's not as curved as this one that has an extension okay so that's it guys i hope you learn one or two things and if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section. I'll be there to answer your questions, okay? If you find it useful, please click on the like button, share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, all right? So I'll see you in the next one.